thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the honor. We thank you for today. We appreciate your holy name. We ask the Holy Spirit to take perfect control, sincere control, powerful control, automatic controls in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Mena Prospita Daniel by the grace of God. Today we are going into the word of God straight after the sermon. Not in the sermon you begin to know whether you are truly born or you are not born again. We're going to open our Bible to John chapter 3 verse 3. It said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But are you born again? The kind of bond we are talking about here is not a bond into religions. Listen to me. I have to take note about Christianity of holiness. And I've gotten to know that holiness is becoming religious. It's not becoming a, a salvation message again. It has become a religious. Now. Are you born again? That's the question. You know within your heart. You know where you are. You know within your heart. You know the, the double life you are living. Outside, wherever you are. You know how you live double lives. You know you are not sincerely born again. Don't deceive yourself. Just be sincere to yourself. Are you born again? Are you born again? Because there are procedures and steps. A man needed to be born again. There are procedures and steps. There are protocols. It is more than you study your Bible. Sir, please quote me very well. I want you to sincerely understand what I am saying. I want you to deeply understand what I am saying. It is more than me you saying that I am reading my Bible every day. You can be a Christian, a church goer, a listener of the word of God, and yet be reading your Bible. That doesn't qualify you to be a born again. Listen to me. You counting yourself and you say, I am in holiness members. I go to holiness. In fact, I can, should I tell you, should I shock you? He said, yes, shock me, shock me, shock me. The person who is our pastor is a pastor. He said, yes, I know him. He's a very, uh, he's a preacher. Oh, he's a old preacher. He said, yes, that's my pastor. He said, I'm the only name. He doesn't, these things doesn't say you are born again. All these things are just a mere fable. Nonsense. People are not joining the club of holiness people now. See, at least I'm a holiness, holiness group now, holiness ministry, holiness thing. But they are not born again. <laughs> they will wear big clothes because they say, I'm going to heaven. I'm, I'm in the group of those who are going to heaven. But they are bastard of the kingdom. They are not born of the kingdom. They are not born again. They are not sincerely born. You know you do your heart. You know that in your heart, there are things that you have not submitted for God. There are things that is still hard for you to submit. You know it. Now, let's come now. He said, except a man being born again. Now, it means there is a kind of regeneration that occurs whether you are of old age or not. Is it a man? When he say a, a, a boy has to give it, it means that he's going to be a young boy, you know. He say a man, means a grown-up man. Except a man being born again. 
humanity, human being, not demons, not spirit. Spirit cannot born again. He's talking to human being. Now, the question is that, but what Apostle is saying, what is he trying to say? I am, listen to me, I live my own life standard very well. I don't, uh, you know, I don't compromise. You might be living only life and yet not be born again. It's just a religion. People have taken it as a religious right now. I've taken holiness messages as a religious. That's why I say to you that you might just be a religious practice. Very simple. Very sincerely simple. Listen to me. When a man becomes a Muslim, he has to read his Quran every day. He has to do his tabio. It's just a normal practice for them. They don't go tired by reading your Quran. They don't go tired by... They even usually... It is Christianity that we see that is different. In the, in the Muslim people, there's something they call Ileke, a house where you learn Quran. It's only Christian that doesn't have such a thing. That we are only the one now having such a thing now in school of, school of heaven. Whereby you study Bible. Only Muslim will do that. Go around the world. You will not see where children gather and they begin to learn Bible. Just Bible. Nothing else. Bible, just Bible. Just Bible. You will see. Every Christian brothers and parents, they want to send their children to school to read English, to read mathematics. Why? They are investing carnality into their lives. Why Muslims are investing demons of uh, carnality, as demons of Quran into their children. And the children grow up with the knowledge and the understandings of that Quran. And they will stand and say they are ready to kill they are ready to die for what they believe. Why Christian children? A father will be a pastor. Children coming from a Christian background will be compromising God's words because he was not lectured. He was in the in the Islamic peoples when they even though they will send their children to school, it will be after the children have finished Quran school or. The children will be going to school and in the evening they will send the school children to go and study Quran. You see, this is where they protected and that's why the children were growing up in unities because they have induced their legs into their religious practice and they not get used to reading Quran without anybody forcing them. They are getting used to doing test B, you know what it's called the test B, or to say without anybody forcing them. They are not get used in going into five times mocks. Now we are coming to church just twice or four times in the weeks, or I don't know, just one 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 times, you know. We are complaining. My job, my wife, my husband, my children, I have to take care of my children, all those kind of complaints are there. But Muslim will go and do their service five times in one day. Five times uh, in one day. No complaint, no kind of, uh, you know, no kind of, uh, you say, ah, it will be, I'm tired. Nothing like that. If they, if they miss it, they will time double their Quran, their, 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 their worship when they are going. They will double it. They, they will make sure they pay for the debt. They see it as a depth of not worshipping their gods. But look at Christians. Christians, if they miss the service, they will say, God understand that uh, the job was too heavy today. That's why I miss the service. But the question is, did God understand? Why if somebody is giving uh, her own God 30, 30, 30 minutes, five times every day? Some will stay 20 minutes. Some will stay one hour. Pa worship. Pa worship. They will, they will be going. 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 
going. They will do it first time, second time, and five times in a day. Now, the question is that, do you know the funnest part? I have never seen a Muslim child who I have ever come across when it comes to the service of their kings, come and complain. Never. You will never see them. Even the children will not complain. They see it as a joy. But come and see the children of Christians. Come and hear the one that say, Mommy, Mommy, I want to watch cartoon. Their lifestyles has been projected into the hands of the devil. And that are one of the things that is affecting the church right now. Now, what am I trying to say? By incubating this knowledge into the life of the children, make them to be doing the practice without any, any, any reason of disturbance or whatsoever. Now, listen to me very well now. Listen to me very well. Hear what I'm saying right now. Listen to me very, very well. Listen. Right now, right now, I mean very right now, church can no more be trust to God again. Holiness ministry can no more be trust to God again. The reason is because even, as, even holiness pastors are sleeping with men by now. I must say something. Holiness pastors are sleeping with members now. And they will come on social media. I will cover their names. They mentioned somebody who I, I knew very well as holiness pastor. I have been sleeping with members with the evidence and so on and so forth. And the person, they said the evidence that even God sent the person to the and is well known worldwide. And he's a holiness minister and he's sleeping with member and he's still preaching holiness on social media. I don't know how true it was, but what if it is true? What about a woman holiness that is well known all throughout that is sleeping with men? This one I knew very well. This one, even though you wake me from the dream, I will tell you. I won't mention anybody's name. You don't need to mention anybody to spoil anybody's name. But in now, you see, I have a lot of followers. He's following her steadily. Preaching raw messages. Any man that comes to the church, I won't mention the person's name, that comes to the woman's church, and, and the woman detected and saw it in the spirit of the man. I'm not talking about vision. I'm not talking about revelation. So. Revelation aside. Happening aside. When they come to this woman church, this woman, when they saw that he's a very powerful man of God, one way, one way he will come and rape the man of God. He won't do by the time he by the time he hold your penis, he hold them in no liver. You cry, you cry for your help, nobody is helping you. Whether you like it or not, you go do it. And anytime the man when you get the person, you just die down. You don't mean you die physically. The call died. Sleep with her, he goes. That is her whole mission. And she has been sleeping with a lot of men. Causing divisions among the marriages in our churches. I won't mention them. And the person is still preaching holiness. I want you to understand something. That holiness now is a religion. It's no more something that people cannot rely on and say, okay, I am a holiness member and stuff. That's why I'm saying, are you born again? Because if you are not born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Though. If you are not born again, you will end up in a fire. Though. That is why I don't have friends. I choose who to follow to go with me. I choose who to walk with me. I choose who to live, which who we should live together with. I choose things. I don't just live my life. I'm so sorry to tell you this. I'm very careful. Very, very careful. Because it has now become a things of the past. 
Do you know the fast draft fast? That those who are even preaching holiness messages that are pastors, they are pastors. Do you know that they are not born again? Do you know that pastors that are preaching holiness are not born again? Are you aware of that? You are not aware. You just hear holiness messages, you, you type it on YouTube and begin to listen to messages. I feel confirmed whether the man of God is born again or not. Because many ministers are not in, have not come to know Christ. It's only gift that is working in their life. Do you know what is called gift? The anointing. And do you know what? Gift is without repentance. There is difference because before I, you know, I have been in holiness since uh, over 20 years. Listen to me. This one are fables and nonsense. You know, a, 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 a serious nonsense. Do come and talk experience here. Are you born again? That's the question. The question is, are you born again? Don't come here and tell, me, tell us no sex at all. And do you know what? These holiness peoples and Christians, they will not submit. But I know by this message, God will strike the heart to submit. They will, they will tell you I'm born again. Because of, this is what the devil has planted into them, self-righteousness. To destroy their destiny. To attack them from God into destructions of the devil. I'm going to tell you how to know whether you are born again. I'm still coming there. Because even you, you are not sure whether you are born again. You are not sure. Don't just be a sandboard. There is a way they do it. There are principle and protocol. There are steps to know whether you are born again. It is not by the it's not by the standard of holiness you are teaching people to live that makes you born again, sir. Being born again is inside. The genuity. I'm genuine. You can't say it for yourself. Let me tell you whether you are genuine. That's why I'm telling you now. Are you born again? Because if you are not born again, you are wasting your time. You will end up in hell, no. You will end up in hell, you. Know? Think well. I'm going to tell you things that makes you to know you are born again. Yeah, but I, I gave my life to Christ about some times ago and this and that. Listen to me. Are you aware that salvation is like it's like a uh, how can I say it? A precious thing that can fly away. It's like a bird. If you do cage your salvation inside you, it will fly away. And it, it might come back and it might never come back. Is two things. Salvation is too special because it's true salvation that you are now born again. And this salvation we are talking about is like a bed. When it comes, you you cage it inside you. You put it there. You feed it to become grow and become a greater you know growing bed or to get it. To a stage and a level of ego, ego level, whereby you can now release it. When you release it, it can go and come back. You know where you come back. Now, listen to me very well. When we talk about born again, being born again, we are talking about sincerity. Listen, who will tell us that Nicodemus, a ruler of Jewish, are not born again? In the book of John, chapter 1, uh, chapter 3, verses 1, he said, And the Nicodemus, the rulers of Jewish, is a teacher by professor, by, pro, pro, by, by professor, by professor, profession. He teach the word of God steadily. He leads people to God, but he himself. He is, the, he, 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 he is not with God. He has not even known God. It was when 
he came to Jesus. Jesus didn't see vision for him. He didn't tell him visions or whatsoever. He just tell him, he said, bro, are you born again at all? Because you are seeing that you are not born again. Jesus could detect it that he is just religious. This holiness of a thing has become a religious. I must wear biscuit. I must wear big clothes. I must not paint my face. I must not wear your ring. I must not put on your weaver. Okay, the latest thing is that I must not, I must not uh, with my natural hair. So which are the latest? Okay, I should not wear tight. I will not wear it. We are in the holiness kind. That are the li- that is what is trending now. But it is it is becoming religious. It is not it's not becoming reality again. It's not becoming a personal decision, a personal uh, uh, a personal breath from the Holy Spirit any longer. It has become a religious practice right now. People are doing these things, avoiding things, avoiding things of the sins, and yet they are not born again. These are things I'm saying. I don't know why. When I get to a radio, I'll get to a radio station. I'm in radio station already, and uh, in Eva, Uriso FM, in Eva, I'm in radio station already. And do you know what? I have been I have been preaching in the radio station, talking on one thing, born again. I don't know why. When I want to preach, God will say, "Tell them born again, tell them born again." I said, "Lord, what you said, I am to correct the thought." He said, "Tell them to be born again. The church is not born again." Now, if that is the case, then what is the meaning of heaven we are going to? You that you are looking at me and you are listening to me. Self-righteousness is what is affecting you. Because you believe in your heart now that you are born again. I'm not trying to convince you against your belief. But are you born again? Now we are going to explain to us whether we are born again or not. No, but one step that happens when a man wanted to born again is not by you confessing Jesus only. You can confess Jesus and not yet be born again, sir. You can confess Jesus and not yet be born again. So being born again is not by is not by confession only. We are not ending there. Listen to me very well. I want you to be clear. Number two, study and pray every day for hours. Is not what makes you born again. Number three, what makes you born again is not by your going to service and your sincere act to bring people to Christ that makes you born again. All these things you are doing, the devil's children are also doing the same things without them accepting Christ. And they are doing it out of sin. Paul was Paul, who talk, so who talked to Paul, was killing the Christian and putting them into cell for God out of Z without knowing that he's doing wrong thing. So you can be going from one place. Do you know what it, ta- it caused Paul to be taking people and be killing them and putting them in prison? It caused him his time. It caused him his finances. It caused him to go around. It caused him his marriage. It caused him a lot of things. Yet he's doing that zealously for the devil. Not knowing. And he believes he's doing it for God. Now listen to me now. You can be zealous for God. You can be zealous in the gospel. You can be zealous in evangelism. You can be zealous in reading the Bible. You can be zealous in praying. You can be zealous in winning souls. You can be zealous in many parts. You can be zealous in the service of God. And yet, you be born again. All this in is under zealous. You are just having the zeal. Hey, 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 I'm going to camp of God. I'm... We know you are not born again. I have been, I at least now since the time I've started the camp here. I can tell you very well that I have not seen a single person, one person, who has come to this camp that I met one again. If I tell you, I won't come. Eh? Listen to me very well. I want to be sincere with you. I'm not judging. I'm not. I'm a human being. I'm a man. I'm telling you this is true. Everyone who have come to this camp, they thought they are born again until they come and they say, "Ah, and I want to give my life to Christ again." Oh, I will tell you all. I I caught it again. A double hell hall. It's when they come, they now say, I want to burn again, again. I want to burn again, again. And I know the reason why God is saying, regarding. He knows that if He comes, those who are taken, <laughs> me are going to heaven. Me are going to heaven. None of them will be taken. No, not even one. 
not even a single one like this. One will be taken. She said, Go there because he loves you. He knows that you will not make it to heaven by any chance until you go there. Not, not, not at least I've, as I've been I've been having a lot of people here now coming from different countries and say if they come and see I will watch now and I begin to see behaviors and see different kind of we are living together so there's nothing like me but I'm opposed to is living far so it's not we are living together so so we see ourselves that most are not but I can tell you now that they are now sound in God. In real service. If I bring my microphone to everyone, everyone, even the ministers who have known me before, before they become a minister, they will tell you when they meet me, they do meet me as a born again. They thought they were, they were born again. But when they now met me, if you went, they now say, ah, I want to be born again. I am not Jesus. I'm not anybody. I'm not trying to push myself in a high level. But I'm just trying to tell us that all what we are practicing here in holiness is just religious. Come make us see who you, who you are. Now. Religion practice. Religious practice. Religious practice. Is Reli it to me? It, oh God, oh my father, I don't know what you want to use to convince me, except there are practical things that happen to you, and you are able to prove it that you are born again. Because I, my eyes have seen a lot. God has shown me a lot about the holiness people and how they are living a deception lives. Praise God. How they are living in deception slabs. Now let's go there because of time. Now let's go to the message. How can you become born again? Ah, let's go there now. If you are going to be born again, there is one thing that must happen to you. A power will be given to you. If you look at John chapter 1, verses 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God. Now, as that have received, he gave them power. Power. To become sons of God. To which means they are not sons of God before. I want you to understand that. Power to become sons of God. Now listen to me. When you give your life to Christ. It's not by saying I believe in Jesus. You can say it. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. You can be crying. And yet not born again. You can be, be a crying worshiper. And yet not born again. You can be a crying worshiper. And yet not born again. Listen to me. I said it again. Amen. I said Amen. since the time I've been doing camp here. Amen. I have not seen. Who I say okay. I, except if I could remember. Except, let me say, except a, a, a brother and a sister. I'm just remembering one now. Mm -hmm. I, I look at their lives spiritually and physically, and I gave them that they are born again. If I could remember. I'm just remembering now. I'm just remembering now because all these people remind you. A brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. Any other? I'm not trying to brush anybody bad, but I'm trying to tell you that you yourself that you are hearing me, you are not sure of your salvation. 
you are not sure until you see somebody slap you. They never slap you now. They just lie against you. And you don't do that this thing. Hey, hey, hey. What is hey, hey, hey inside you? What is hey, hey, hey inside you? Just lying against you. Praise God. Now, let's go there. He said he gave them power. So that power is what will make them to become the sons of God. The power he said he gave them in this area, in this John 1, verse 12. The power he said that he gave them in this John 1, verse 12, is the power that will make you to live a holy life. But are you aware that it's not everyone that has the power? Now, I want to tell you to know, to prove it now, that whether you are a child of God or not, open to first John. Open your Bible to first John. First John chapter 5, verses 18. I want to read now. Listen up. We know, I'm ready now. We know that whosoever is born of God, is born again, right? Is born of God. Sin it not. Sin it not. But it, he that is begotten of God keepeth himself that the wicked one touch him not. I think you hear what he says. Is sin it not if you still find yourself in sin? It's just a little, it's not, it's just nothing else that I'm not yet born again. That's all. The power I show you in that John 1 has been given to them. Oh God. That power will not make them to sin. Slap them. They will say thank you, sir. Accuse them. They will say thank you, sir. They do see. We know it. That whosoever is born of God, sin it not. Are you born of God? Are you born again? Because the only way you can be born of God is John 3 day. John 3 day. When you is John 3 day, you will be born of God. And when you are born of God, you can't say. No, 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 no. It will be hard for you to go and masturbate, sir. Sir. It will be hard for you. Are you not as you are now? Are you not a gangly type? Do you have anger inside your heart? If you are an angry type, you can't make it to heaven. It's a sign that you are not born. He said, For we know that whosoever is born of God, born of sin and not. Tell me any of you who have come to that level. Are you not a malicious person? Are you, are you not lusting after people? When you see a handsome guy, you look and say, Ah, very handsome. Ah, I wish this man is. Oh God. He's <laughs> very handsome. Ah, with this man is my partner, you know. Ah, which is my husband. I will have loved it. You see a sister, beautiful sister say, Oh God, this sister is too beautiful. Ah, which is my wife, no. You lost after. You lost him after. It's just nothing else that you are not born again. You are not born. It is to me. If you are born again, you will not lose. Am I the one that said it? The Bible does. He said because he keepeth himself. Now, now, there's one thing that is there that once I want you to know. He said we know that whosoever is born of God sineth not, but he, he but sineth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. One, he keep himself. It means. 
after God gave him power, he himself was careful. He did not just say that I'm a Christian. No, he himself was careful. Sin was coming. The power has been given to him to control the body. To control before before now, body that you need to control him. the flesh now is control. Him. But now he has been given power. Because he is born of God. He has been given power now to control flesh. So now what he does is that he's careful now. He's not careful. You see, because he keeps pet himself. He not end it yet. And the, uh, he's keep it himself. And that wicked one touch it in not. When you keep it yourself, don't forget that in the time Jesus Christ was standing with his apostle, he said, and the prince of this world comment and he find nothing in me. That find nothing in me, eh? Is a big message on his own. Big, big message on his own. Because if devil needs to come and meet you now, what will he find in you that belongs to him? I'm not going there now. He keep himself after God gave him power. He himself, he said, there is a power of to be a child of God. There is a two things: the power given to you, you yourself, you keep yourself. If you are not able to, it's a start, it's a point that the power is not there, and it's a point that you are not born again. Just accept it in your heart and give your life to Christ. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I will stop, stop here because I have to do some other thing. Now, I want you to be sincere to yourself. I'm not going to close the way I usually close before. You know you are not born again. You want to be born again right now. You, are, you can be ministers of the holiness pastors, ministers of a big torches, experienced pastor. It doesn't matter here. It's not my age. Even Jesus Christ told him. I mean, he didn't say it. He said, the first shall be last. You don't hear it. And the last shall be first. So it's not a matter of I have been there before you. No, 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 no. Just surrender. Put your right hand in your heart and say after me, Lord Jesus, with all your heart, sincerity, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the message I had today. Lord Jesus, I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me for all the sins I have done to you, all the wounds I have given to you, all the injuries I have given to you. Forgive me today in Jesus' name, my Lord and my Savior. I come to you as a newborn baby. Because I know that I am not even worthy to stand before you. And I come to you, Jesus, asking you to forgive me and to write my name in the book of life. I believe you died for me. I believe you resurrected on the third day. I believe that your blood saves. I believe that you are my Lord and my Savior and I've accepted you with all my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you, please and please show me mercy. Write my name in the book of life and deliver me from sin. Thank you, Father, for you have answered my prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen. After you have prayed the prayers, you are born again. Listen to me on one condition. If you sincerely say the prayer. If you want, sincerely say the prayers. You are genuinely born again. You will now go into prayer. It doesn't end there. And begin to tell him you want to serve him. Have a personal communion with him. Talk to him and confess more and more. He has forgiven you, but confess more and more. There is, there, is a, there is a power that comes during confessions. Or you it just that say, Lord, I am sinner. When you begin to mention it and say, Lord, you remember are remembering what you have done before. And you are saying it. You will get to a stage. Something will take over you. And you begin to cry from the within, inside you. It will not be just a tear coming out again. 
you begin to cry and begin to shake. That is a power of salvation coming up. Shake. Begin to shake. Shake him. Before you know, you begin to cry out loud. As possible. And you are saying, I belong, brothers and sisters. There's nothing else I have to tell you. Don't be born again. Experience, titles, what you preach, what you carry, where you go, who is your pastors? Does not uh, he does uh, he has nothing to do with being born again. May the Lord bless you. Share the message, please, so that people can receive. It's not for me to earn money. It's when if it's about money, I have videos here. I want to tell you that I've done. There are many. It's just that I don't have time to post it. If it's that I'm having, if it's money, I will be posting it. You'll be seeing video every day. So that I can be earning money. Hmm? And I will, be, I will be making sure that I will, I will be posting a lot. Short one, read, long one, every different kind of bringing different. But it's not about money. But because I'm about the souls of man. So that they can be free and be set free. Share this and let their blood be taken away. Because once you are carrying their contact on your phone, you are responsible for their soul. May the Lord bless you and save your soul in Jesus' name. Press like button too. And if you have not subscribed at all before, subscribe. So that anytime I post, you can understand. God bless you. God be with you. I remain Apostle Daniel. God bless you. Shalom.